Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping back into a flare livery of the PMDG 737 so that we can cover the new Axie ranges that were added in SPAD 09.12. These are gonna allow us with things like the TCA controls to put a range without idle problems. So when we jump into it and explain, it's gonna make all kinds of sense. But the focus, is to get those reversers working with a range and having control over them. So when we're inside the jet, it's great with the TCA, which has a range down here at the bottom of the idle. One of the problems we had, it was hard and spad to map the range because we didn't have the ability to set a dead zone or an idle zone. So now we can have a much more controlled ability over our reversers and have an idle zone which kicks in. So let's jump into SPAD and see how we did this. So when you come to SPAD.next and you've got your TCQ uh, throttles, you'll remember on the bottom switches we used to have throttle events. And we did this because it was really hard to set it up and get the range done correctly. So now it's a lot easier. So when you go in and you use one of these throttles with the reverser, you're going to see that there are two sides to each detent or each section. So now you go ahead and you set your throttle all the way to the top and you hit set. Well, sometimes it's a little noisy up here and you can see with the TCA, it, you barely move it and you're almost to the top. So what we've done is we've gone in and we've even typed the value in that we want. So since it's a very small value, I could say that from zero to a thousand at the very top, we want it to be full thrust. So that's the range being set for full thrust. Now, everything in between, of course, comes back to idle and it scales it. But the thing with these is, as you can see, very small movement in the handle generates a large range of the Axie because this uh, throttle has 65K, well, 65,535 of steps. So what we did was we moved it just slightly ahead and we saw that, you know, 4,600 is probably good. So we typed in 4,600. Then we lifted the flap lever and we pulled it back a little bit. And we could see that as it starts to ride over the top, 51,000 was pretty good. So we put 46 to 51 is now our idle thrust zone. So everything around that gate is now going to stay idle. Whereas before you could only have a specific value for idle and it made it very difficult to stay in and out of reverse thrust. Then similar type thing, we take it all the way to the bottom and we set our max reverse thrust at 65, 535. And then for that small little amount of range, we went ahead and said 65,000 is full reverse thrust. Once you're done, you go ahead and you click OK. If the OK doesn't come up, it seems when you manually enter some of these, it doesn't pick it up. Just toggle the invert. You're good. When you come over to the second one, we do the exact same thing. And since I changed that range, I'm going to type in 1,000, hit enter, and toggle, toggle, get my OK back, and we are good to go. So now when you lift that gate up and you pull it over, you'll see it rise up and you have that reverse thrust range control. So now you can dial in smoothly the amount of reverse thrust, and then when you move it back into the location, it goes back into the idle position. Well, it looks like it's time for me to get out of here and get to Hamilton. I hope you like these shorter feature filled videos. If so, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.